Shalom. All praises, blessings, glories, and honors to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Recha Kodash. Double honors to my elder apostles and bishop elders of Great Millstone who have taught me this truth, as well of men of like mind. Shalom wa chasad, which means peace and mercy, to the elect of the nation of Israel. Oh my, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the sea land of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom is scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great, and abroad. And to you, I say Shalom and Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Ratazah. This lesson is edifying. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Warning. Banks to remain closed for 20 days. Ripple, CBDC, India, and the mark of the beast. Published earlier by Jim S. Watchman. When you have a lot of cash in your wallet, you run the risk of losing it or getting robbed. Theft of money is frequent, but hackers are also stealing digital money as well. You may have heard about the largest crypto heist ever, which occurred recently. People began to believe that even digital money is vulnerable to robbers. But don't worry, Ripple has you covered with this one, just like it has helped the payment industry with many of its features. If you are interested to know how Ripple is going to protect your currency, keep watching the video. In today's video, you will know about the microchip implant that will store your XRP and will also make your other tasks easier. You will also know about the ongoing situation of the lawsuit and the value of XRP. So let's get to it. Money, whether the fiat or digital, both are on the verge of getting stolen or robbed. Hackers can take your cryptocurrency and you won't be able to do a thing. But if you own Ripple, you do not have to worry about this problem anymore. You may now save your cryptocurrency in a safe area where you won't lose it. In 2018, a Danish firm called Bychip released an update about a microchip implant. This chip uses Ripple's own payment system, which means it doesn't need to be connected to the owner's bank account. Wearers should be able to store cryptocurrencies on the chip, and payments may be possible in the future. The bank tweeted, Announcement, Bychip microchip implant is now implementing Ripple payment systems in the product. This means that the microchip owners will not be needing to connect their microchip to their bank accounts anymore. In the picture, we can see banks. Ripple Connect, which is connected to direct settlement with Ripple Network and the Interledger Protocol validators. Bychip is an implantable passive RFID NFC transponder chip with a smart thermometer for health monitoring through in vitro temperature monitoring that can store identification and access control data like opening a house or car doors or checking in at the workplace and various forms of contactless payment which require authentication processes. The Danish company claims to be developing a technology that would allow Bitcoin payments to be made simply by waving your hand over a reader. The aim of the company is that its human microchip implant will make sure your crypto cash is always close at hand by storing it, literally, inside your hand. Other than payments, this chip will unlock the doors and log in to the computers. Bytechip tweeted about this in 2018, but again, this August, they shared a video with the chip implanted into human hand and we can see the guy performing different tasks using the chip. The Danish company itself did not come up with this idea, but it was hired by the U.S. Navy. 
the United States Navy had recruited the services of this Danish tech firm to design a microchip that will be implanted using Ripple blockchain. Catherine Austin Fitz, who is the president of Solari INC, the publisher of the Solar Report and managing member of Solar Investment Advisory Systems, LLC, she explained that the U.S. Navy hired the Danish team. Fitz says in a video uploaded by crypto investor Kevin Cage that she was allowed access to data on the U.S. Navy funding the firm to produce an implantable microchip that will be compatible with the Ripple chain, without revealing the company's identity. At that time, Fitz also declined to provide any additional information regarding the microchips or to say whether the subject would be followed up on. She did remark, though, that she has a lot of business experience in Denmark. Therefore, the information is reliable. She said in the video, They had uh, one of the tech firms in Denmark was being paid by the U.S. Navy to come up with a chip that could be implanted in the human body that would integrate with Ripple. Yeah. So Ripple is a crypto, and uh, it's one that's gotten a lot of promotion from the American establishment, in my experience, just my impression. These chips are RFID, or Radio Frequency Identification. RFID and NFC are contactless technologies used by access cards at your office and contactless payments in stores. About the implementation of the chips, we can say that during... We are adopting the digital payment methods, and this can also be a time for the RFID Ripple chips. Now we don't have to worry about our crypto to be stolen, and also no contact for the payments. These are the signs of the future. If these are the signs of the future, XRP will play a big role in cross-border payments. Biochip talked about this in 2018, and now after four years, they talked about it again. This only indicates that there is a need for this in this digital transformation, and in no time, we will be seeing Ripple and XRP associated with the future. And this is a major proof that XRP will be leading the global payment system, and its value will go up to a minimum of three digits. The mark of the beast is the RFID microchip, also known as the NFC chip implant in Europe also known as the bio which means a live or living chip implant also known as the brain chip implant i.e elon musk's Neuralink. again this is the book of revelation chapter 13 verse 16 and he the he is referring to the hegemony of esau edom who according to the book of malachi chapter 1 verse 4 is the border of wickedness therefore they are the wicked in whose hand which in the hebrew is yad which means power or strength the earth has been given into according to the book of job chapter 9 verse 24 hence the reason why the earth is in the current condition that it is in imbalanced confused and languished and he calls of all all people except for the elect of the nation of Israel whom Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai will reserve and keep from the hour of temptation which is the hour of trial through the idea of piercing. When Esau Edom will mandate the chip globally. And I pray that I am of the elect, as well as your brothers and few sisters, both small and great, from a newborn baby to an elderly senior in society, rich and poor, whether they be rich or poor, free and bond whether they be free or in bondage in the jail systems to receive a mark that word mark in the greek is karagma which means a stamp or imprinted mark the karagma is the chip okay now let me go back just a little there's a particular scene Please bear me one second here in this video. Right here. Now, 
the root word of karagma is terax, which means a palisade or a stake. And what we are seeing here in this clip is the karagma, which is the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, being pushed out of the terax, which is the palisade or a stake, which is the needle the syringe mechanism that they will use to puncture the flesh of individuals to then insert that karagma, that chip. Here's a good example of it. See? So. The psychologist, Dr. Jordan Peterson, is one of the world's most fast. Pardon me. Reason to say to receive a mark and the root word of Chirax is grapho which means of the writings filled with the writings filled with the records with it because within the RFID microchip is where people's information such as their financial information their medical information and this is not medical misinformation these are actual facts okay and other information such as their social security and so on and so forth are going to be scribed, filled, kept in their right hand or in their foreheads, in front of their brains. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast. The beast is the pagan Roman Empire, which came back in the form of NATO and the EU with America being an extension of that empire. That is the beast for the number of his name. Here is wisdom, let him that hath understanding come the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six, which is six six six, which we'd often see behind products in stores and supermarkets in the forms of what is known as a UPC, Universal Product Code, where they are three thicker horizontal lines, one in the far right, one in the far left, and one in the middle, which represents 666, which is something that is there for the purposes of Esau Edom to track their products. And goods and, and whatnot, but now Esau Edom throughout the years had gradually been moving to what is known as a blockchain network and not just any type or any ordinary blockchain network, which is a basically a network that is used for uh, tracking purposes, but also one that is centralized. One that, that would be overseared by a central figurehead or authority, such as a central bank, i.e. CBDCs. Okay. Now Esau Edom is using this particular network to track things that will be under their total subjection. And this particular network that is a centralized blockchain network will be utilized by them when they roll out the chip so that they may track every traffic which is uh, trade buying and selling of individuals across the globe when we go into the creek of 666 it is Kai Zai Stigma or you might say Chai Stai however you say it Nonetheless, kind Zai both means X mark. And the spirit often made me remember that there's a saying that they have in the world that X marks is a spot. Look at certain medical movies, you'll notice that before a doctor or a nurse punctures the flesh of an individual, they either mark an X or a circle on their skin with a dot in the middle. And they and they call it the spot of puncture. It is, it's pretty much the same thing that they'll do today. And the root word of um, stigma 
excuse me, the meaning of stigma is stamp. Okay? A stigma is a stamp, like a sign. When you look up the word um, stigma on the online etymology dictionary, figuratively, according to the online etymology dictionary, figuratively, it means a mark of disgrace. For those that take it, they're, they're taking a mark of disgrace, man. One that will solidify their judgment by way of thermonuclear fire. Because this is the judgment, Revelation to the 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, what is the image of the beast? The system of the beast. Everything that comprises this man's system is the image. From his medical infrastructure, his architectural infrastructure, his laws, his technology. Okay? Everything that comprises this man's system, his finances, all these things... <laughs> comprise the system which is the image of the beast and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation which means his righteous anger and he shall be tormented with fire fire from those nuclear warheads and brimstones in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb, who is the Lamb, or Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, meaning for a period of time. And they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever received the mark of his name. And so this is the judgment. And so the message is to not take the karagma when they mandate it. To you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. That is the message to not take the mark of the beast when Esau Edom mandates it globally. Because if you do, this is the judgment, as I just read. Okay, so that is the warning. So with that, I conclude this lesson. Lord's willing, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Ratazah. This lesson was edifying and straight to the point. Shalom.